Since you're a WPF developer, if I came to you and said, hey, how do I transfer my data from one value to another in a WPF application? You'd say, Brian, that's easy. You'd use a converter. I'm like, thanks, man. I'm on it. Well, what if I asked you the same thing for an Angular application? How do we transform our Angular data from one value to another? Well, in this video, I'm going to show you how. Roll the intro. To transform data in an Angular application, we're going to use what's called a pipe. Now, a pipe is very similar to a WPF converter. A pipe takes in data as input and then transforms that data into a desired output for display. So in this sample, I have a very simple component. I've defined a property called name and I've used interpolation to bind to that name in my HTML. Let's use pipes to format or transform this data into something more appropriate. So to use a pipe, the syntax is quite simple. After your expression, you're going to provide a pipe operator, followed by the name of the pipe you'd want to use. In this case, let's say lowercase. I'm going to save that, and you'll see our page refresh on the side. Now that entire string is lowercase. Besides lowercase, I can also say, hey, you know what? Let's make that uppercase. We'll make that uppercase, and as you can see, now my name is uppercase. Now I know what you're going to ask yourself. You're saying, well, Brian, how do you know this uppercase, lowercase? I mean, how do you know these pipes? How do you know where they come from? Well, I read the docs. I'll provide a link to the documentation in the description below. But when you visit the docs, you will see a list of pipes that are provided for you out of the box. The ones we've just used were lowercase and uppercase, but you can see there are quite a few more, such as currency, decimal, percent, key value, title case, async, date. You get the idea. So let's play with some other types of pipes. Let's go ahead and create another property. I'm just gonna call it date and set it equal to a new date. Let's create a new H2 tag and bind to that date property. Now, as you can see, this is an ugly date. We don't wanna see this entire fully qualified date string. Instead, we're gonna use the date pipe to make it look pretty. So we'll use pipe date, and now you can see the date looks awesome. Well, what's really great about pipes in Angular compared to like a WBF converter is that you can actually use more than one pipe at a time. So these build in each other. For example, I can now uppercase the date pipe itself. So now the May month is now all uppercase. Now, besides doing that, what's awesome is we also have options to provide parameters. So if we go to a documentation and we find the date pipe, we can see the syntax for using the date pipe. So I have some parameters I can use, such as the format, time zone, locale, and it shows you how to use it up here in the documentation. We can see the value expression, which would be the date. Here's the date pipe, and then the format. So I'm gonna say, we're gonna do a colon, and I'm gonna place the format, say month, month, day, day, year, year. We'll save that, go back to our application, and we can see we have now changed the format of our date using the format parameter. Well, this is pretty cool. We can see a list of all these pipes that are available to us, and we can use these in our app. But what happens if there is a pipe or some type of transformation that we want to implement that is not out of the box? Well, luckily we can build our own. So let's go ahead and do that. Now to build a pipe, what we wanna do is we wanna start off by creating a new file. I'm gonna call this replace.pipe.ts and we're gonna import pipe and pipe transform from angular slash core. Now we're going to go ahead and export this class called replace pipe and we're going to implement pipe transform. I'm going to use my little helper here to implement the interface pipe transform. Now you'll see a new transform method is being added. We can see the first parameter is the value. This is the input of the value expression and then any number of arguments that you want to supply. So unlike a WPF converter where you're limited to one, we can have as many as we want. So in this case, we're going to have the value is going to be a string and I'm going to have this replace pipe replace one value for another. So I'm going to start with, we can say old character, 
We'll make that a string. New character. We'll make that a string. Now what we want to do is we're going to return the value, replace, and we're going to replace the old character with the new character. Next, what we have to do is we actually have to add the pipe decorator. And this allows us to give the pipe a name. I'm going to call this replace. So this is how we're going to refer to the pipe in code. The next step we have to do is we have to modify our app.module.ts to declare our replace pipe. Now, when I did that, it automatically added the import for the replace pipe. Now that we have that saved, we can go back to our name, h2 name, and I'm going to pipe replace. Let's replace a space with a dash. And there you go. We have taken the string Brian Lagunas and replaced the space with the dash using a custom pipe. As you can see, transforming your data in an Angular application with pipes is a breeze. Not only that, creating a custom pipe is just as easy, if not easier, than creating a custom WPF converter. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for, it's time to announce the winner from last week's video for the one year subscription to Infrajigit's Ultimate. The winner is Maxim Flatling, congratulations, you are the winner, my friend. I will be contacting you very shortly on how to claim your license. If you'd like to enter for a chance to win a one-year subscription to Infragistics Ultimate worth $2,000, while at the same time learning how to take your desktop skills to the web with Angular, subscribe to my channel, like this video, leave a comment below, and I will enter you in the next video for the next drawing. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.